So we understand in this market, there are a lot of buyers everywhere. Here's a question for you. What are you doing to level up the buyer experience? Here's a couple of tips that I wanna share with you, how you can take the buyer level experience from here, which can be quite ordinary, but to really take it to the extraordinary level. So number one, because your competition is not doing this, is if you're working with some buyers, number one, if they've got something to sell, it's because you wanna work and have a list of hot buyers and sellers. If they've got something to sell, what you wanna do is basically do some private appointments with some of the properties that you're selling. Why? Because if you do a private appointment with them, they make them feel special. And as you make them feel special, you're able to build probably a lot more rapport. And as you build a lot more rapport, you can find a little bit more about them. So if you looked at one of my earlier videos about charm ability, you can actually use your charm in a way that you can build rapport. So when they do want to sell and they're going to have to sell that property before they buy, guess what? They're thinking of you. So think about some private appointments with some of your hot buyer slash sellers. Number two is, you know what? These little things are amazing. Imagine if you're at a property and you're about to take the photos like Tom today doing a film of me, but if you're at a photo shoot, why not pull your camera out and just sort of do a little bit of a raw video and just go, hey Tom, I know you're looking for a cool two bedroom unit around sort of Paddington and we've just listed this gorgeous two bedroom overlooking the park beautiful new kitchen because I know you mentioned to me that you're looking for something renovated and out here is the balcony and that's the gorgeous view of the park. Being one of my VIP buyers, hey, reach out to me, let me know and I would it would be my honour and pleasure to get you there for a private appointment. So they feel special again, right? So that's tip number two. Tip number three that you want to do is you may be talking to them every Monday and Friday. I believe you should talk to your buyers twice a week. When you give them a call and they might say to you, Claudia, we, there's something that I really love over in Dover Heights, and that's a suburb in Sydney. And you might say, okay, well look, why don't I do this for you? Would you like for me to send you a report with some of the last six month sales in the Dover Heights area? So when you do decide to make an offer or perhaps go to auction, at least you feel like you're more confident and educated on the market in the Dover, Dover Heights area. So straight away, they're like, you're coming from that place of help. That's tip number three. Tip number four is offer to perhaps negotiate on their behalf if they do see a property that's not with you. It might be with another agency. And just let them know that you do it all the time and in your business you have a buyer's agent and it's a service that you provide. There are a lot of buyer agency services out there and they charge big dollars to do those sort of things. How about that? That's another tip you could use. And the final tip I would actually say to you is basically keep them informed of every property that's on the market and what it's selling for in what they're looking at. Use a market monitor or track it, but you need to be speaking to them and track these results at least on a Monday and also a Friday. Twice a week, you should be reaching out to your buyers. They're everywhere, because guess what? Here's a little story that I'll share with you. I remember a client just a couple of years ago saying to me, I got this listing and I said, how did you get it? And she said to me, she said, well, you're not gonna believe this, Claudia. I was showing her about two or three properties and I was driving her in my car, but she never ended up buying through me. What she did do was buy through another agency in the area. And now that she was deciding to sell, she rang this girl up and said, hey, we're, we're looking at selling. And she said, oh, why have you come through to me? She said, well, I remember three years ago, you took the time and effort to drive us around to three properties and no other agent at the time when we were looking to buy did that. You see those little things are like little one percenters, but it also can be a way of charming people and making them feel comfortable and making them like you. So in this market, you need degrees of separation compared to your competition around a buyer management plan. Make sure you do some of the things that I spoke about just then. Make sure you do a little video and send it to them, make them feel special. Do a private appointment instead of the usual, let's bring the herd through the crowds and, and do it like an open home bring them through a private appointment, they will love that. These little key things that you do will separate you and have you win more listings.